what's up everybody so welcome to a part two of sims 3 general hospital this is part two so at the end of the last part alec a shot rang out alec fell on the ground brenda's son alec hit the ground um someone heard the shot the police were called in a divane and dante falconeri arrived on the scene and dante was mortified to see his stepbrother on the ground bleeding apparently the kid was shot in the head similar similar to michael's situation from six years ago so he was shot in the head um they called an ambulance the ambulance rushed dante got on the phone to call sonny and Sonny got the phone call and he told Brenda what happened and they rushed to the hospital. Dante called Michael and Morgan and apparently Carly and Jax got wind of it. They all rushed. Um, they all rushed to the hospital to be with Alec. Um, and Brenda, they all wanted to know what the hell happened. And Dante said that they don't have any answers yet. They just know that he was at the docks um, that Anna Devane and the uh, forensics team were all over it. Um, so back at the docks Anna Devane, she was um, looking over the scene with her forensics team and they found where the shot came from. They found a shell casing. So they bagged it and they found a partial fingerprint on one of the banisters at the top of the steps. So she had her forensics team dust it up. Um, so they did that. They finished with the scene. Um, Faith Roscoe was at her office when the hitman came in and she told the hitman that she's going to have him taken out of the country out of town until this thing blows over um and carl is pissed tracy's illegal husband because mind you their marriage was not valid um he was appalled because she had a kid shot and faith told him that this is all business and nothing personal towards Alec but Carl told her it is personal for him um, because he was a kid and Faith tells Carl to remember who the hell he works for and to keep his mouth closed so back at the hospital um, they had a neurosurgeon come in and he said that they're going to have to prep Alec for surgery they have them stabilized, but they need to prep them for surgery. And Sonny tells the, the doctor that he, he wants the best, the best neurosurgeon. He wants Patrick Drake. Um, the problem is Drake is out of town with Robin and they have to do the surgery now. Um. So Brenda says that, you know, this doctor is just going to have to do the surgery. So the doctor goes in for the surgery. Jax is very upset that Sonny and his mob life allowed this to happen. Sonny tells Jax to go to hell. Carly tells them both that they need to just stop this bickering and be there for Alec right now because he needs all their support. Michael agrees. Um, so after the surgery is done, the doctor says that there was some complications and Alec slipped into a mere coma. Um, Brenda was devastated. She was angry. She was hurt. She started blaming Sonny. And um, she told Sonny to leave. So Carly told Sonny that it'd be best if he did. Um, 
So Sonny left. He went to his office. Sean came in. And Sean said that he's going to find out who did this. And Sonny said he already know who did it. Faith Roscoe. And he said that that bitch is going to pay. So Jason comes in. He said that he heard about Alec. And Sonny told him that, you know, he's in a coma. And Jason said deja vu. As in Michael. Because remember, Michael got shot. Put into a coma. Sonny said that Faith is going to pay a price. Uh, so Jax was upset with Carly because she um, kept sticking up for Sonny or whatever. And Carly says she's not sticking up for Sonny, but she understands all too well about all of this. And Jax tells Carly, why don't she just go find Sonny and go be with him? And Carly tells Jax to go to hell. And Jax just had a little smirk on his face. Like he couldn't believe Carly with, you know, her words. So he tells Carly that he's done. And basically he tells Carly that he wants a divorce. And he's serious this time. So Jack storms off. Carly's upset. Um, They get a hold of uh, Brenda's sister, Julia. And Robin and Robin said that she'll be back tomorrow. She's going to be hopping on a plane with Patrick and they're coming back immediately. Julia said that she'll get on a plane and come. Um, so Luke. Went to go see Sonny to see how he's coping with all of this because he heard about it on the news um, Sonny says that, you know, it's reliving the pain that he went through before with Michael. And he didn't want Brenda to go through that. Um, so Michael decides to take Serena home and Morgan decides to take, you know, Amanda home. And they just can't believe what happened to their stepbrother. Um... Anna Devane got word from her forensics team and they told her that they matched the print. They got a name to the person that could have done this. Apparently, his name is Joe, Joe Carver. He's a skilled hitman. Um, they have an address on him. She said that that's the best lead that they have. Um, until they get a phone call that there's a dead body in the park. So they go to the park. Surprise, surprise, it's Joe Carver, same hitman. So now he's dead. Um, So apparently the hitman is dead. Of course, Faith had to take care of him. Um, they didn't find the gun that he used, but they do want to know who hired him. Brenda is just in shambles over this. She doesn't even want to be bothered. Um, Sonny goes back to the hospital to tell, you know, to talk to Brenda and comfort her. And Brenda tells Sonny to go. She doesn't want to see him right now. Sonny says that he's going to go home and um, check on Amelia, their daughter. And that he'll be back later. Brenda tells him not to come back. Um, she's furious. Like, Brenda is furious. Carly goes in there and tries to talk to Brenda because she knows what Brenda went through. You know what I'm saying? She's no, She knows what Brenda's going through because she went through this with Michael and she wished this upon no parent. And Brenda thanks Carly for, you know, comforting her, even though they don't get along. Um, And that was the end of that part. That was the end of that part. I hope you all enjoyed it comment. I want to know what you think. Have a great weekend. I'll see you all Monday or Tuesday. Have a great weekend.